It didn't take much time for the Mineral Wells Rams to get on the scoreboard in their home opener against Castleberry. But with three turnovers and double digit penalties, the first half seemed to drag on. Let's just blame that on first game jitters. So the players agreed all masked with the coaches at before the game that there was a good chance that we were all going to make mistakes. And that's exactly what we did. We all made mistakes. The only thing I was frustrated with in the first half was that we let ourselves wear that on our sleeve a little bit too much instead of just shaking it off and going to the next one, whether it be uh, penalties or turnovers or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, that was the only part that I that I talked to him about in the, in the uh, halftime was, you know, we all said we were going to make mistakes, so why in the world would we be surprised by it? Instead, what I was not happy with was the fact that, oh, uh, you know, we, we, we decided to slump our shoulders or walk off the field or whatever, instead of, well, yeah, we, we said we are going to make mistakes. Let's go back and fix it on the next one. What were you happy with? Uh, I thought I thought we blocked really well most of the game. Uh, I thought our running backs uh, ran the ball really well. I thought our... Uh, our persistence and resilience uh, was was key. Uh, we decided to just keep doing the same thing, um, and I thought that that paid off for us. Big decision this week uh, on on your part as a leader and coach that you, you are going to call plays this year. You're going to hand it over to Gunner. No doubt. How'd that work? Uh, he did all right. He did all right. Obviously, he scored fifty something. We scored fifty something points. No, he he uh, he zigged. Like I said, zigged sometimes when I when I would have zagged. Um, you know, I, I have a little input. Um, but at the same time, he, he did a, a fantastic job and, and kept them off balance. And, uh, you know, at, as we were going on, you know, we, we were kind of saying to each other, well, this worked, let's do that again. This worked, let's do that again. And so before too long, you know, we started honing in on the things that they were having a real hard time with. And so that's why he kept, kept kind of seeing the same kind of plays. Anything in particular you think you guys will have to work on for next oh, week? Oh, yeah, we got to throw the football a ton better. We tried to throw it more times than you might think and lined up wrong. Put, had the receiver on the wrong side, called the wrong play, either from the receiver to the quarterback or the quarterback to the offense. Uh, when we did throw it a couple times, we didn't step into it. Uh, we threw it once decent and then got a penalty. Uh, you know, there's there's uh, there, there's a ton to work on there because there's going to be a lot of teams that we play that will put everybody right up next to the line of scrimmage and we can't block them all and we'll have to be able to throw it. And some people are going to be better than that on getting off blocks too, right? And if we don't, if we don't learn how to do that, then we're going to have a hard time. This morning at the breakfast, you said the word of the week that you emphasized all week with your players was potential. Potential. Did you live up to it? No, no, heck no. Our, our word of the week could be potential every week right now. Well, that was it my next be, question. What's the word for next week? Right now it's potential again. It's probably not going to be, but it should be. All right. Um, because they, uh, they, they haven't scratched the surface of what they have their potential to be. Congratulations on your first win, Coach. Thank you. With a final score of 53-13, to 13, no doubt the Rams found their stride in the second half. Next week, they travel to Fort Worth to take on Western Hills in a Thursday night game, looking for their second win on the season.